Look, y'all cannot tell me that these burrito tacos don't look delicious. If you want to learn how to make beef burrito tacos at home, stay tuned. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Food Decor Galore. Today we are making beef burrito tacos, y'all. Look at these tacos. Just, just look at them. Don't they look delicious? Here in my home, we love authentic Mexican food, but we all know how expensive it can get. So if you want to learn how to make this in the comfort of your own home, let's get right into it. You're going to need quite a bit of things to make these tacos, so please screenshot the ingredients. On these next few clips, you will hear audio from the actual video so that I don't have to re-explain exactly what I'm doing. I have in my pot um, a beef chuck roast. I have two beef bones, um, 10, what is, how do you pronounce the peppers? I can't even pronounce the peppers, but I have 10 peppers, uh, one whole white onion, about 12 to 14 basil leaves, um, carrots, and chicken uh, bouillon cubes. I had about four of those. And right now we're waiting for it to come to a boil. I have to let this boil for 20 minutes. Let this boil for 20 minutes. And after that, I'm gonna add the lid. In the meantime, between time, I'm gonna start um, grinding up my other goodies while this do its thing. Okay guys, now it's time to make the hot chili. You basically want to take all the ingredients listed under the hot chili recipe, put it in a food processor, and chop it up very finely. After doing so, you want to take your 10 peppers from your boiling pot, add them to your blender, and blend them up really smoothly. We have been cooking for like an hour now, and I just added the peppers, I took them out, and I sauteed them in my blender. Then pour it back in here with the meat. And so basically this is the final step. And I'm gonna basically just let this cook for another two, three hours. And we're gonna come back and see what's going on. Now it's time to heat up your two cups of oil to make your hot chili. What you wanna do to test the temperature of the oil is use a wooden spoon to see if the oil is hot enough to be added to your chili and season blend. You don't wanna burn it, so not too hot. And voila, you have hot chili. And trust me, the longer you let this marinate, the better it's gonna taste. Look at this delicious roast, you guys. It has boiled down for two and a half more hours and it is ready for tacos. I'm gonna add it to a separate bowl and keep the yumminess at the bottom to dip my corn tortillas in. Honestly, you could really eat this as is. It's so good. So now I'm just frying my tortillas in my hot chili oil that I've already dipped into the yumminess from the bottom of the roast pot. I've added in the queso cheese, my roast beef, cilantro, and white onion, and voila! You have beef burrito tacos. You guys, these tacos are amazing. They are a bit time consuming, so you should be good and hungry by the time you're all finished. Trust me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not already done so, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post more delicious yumminess. Thanks. Bye.